and welcome to part two folks <clears throat> or is it part 2a c1 i don't know along there we have a windmill i might go along there later on but uh, i've been just as i drove down here it's a lovely looking little uh, village so we're gonna go for a little stroll along here and uh, see what we can discover i've got four pounds fifty in my pocket just in case you never know there might be a little bookshop or something hiding in these uh, nooks and crannies i've taken my coat off as you can see so let's go and see what's hiding in these lovely small streets of St Martin well spiz comrades here's a place for somewhere yet to look at Virgin Square look at that I don't know why it's called Virgin Square though Probably something to do with sacrifices and I don't know but uh, yeah Virgin Square I've never been here before enemy oh yeah look it's a mollusky kind of thing look wow. <laughs> well, I think I've uh, discovered the graveyard of splattered sea urchins but there's another one just here and then there's a splattered one there's some more splattered ones along there so obviously the fishermen don't worry about them mm. you know what I'm tempted to stand on it well I do it for the sake of spiz, right? It's, it's going to be very cruel, folks. Now, if you don't want to see this, I would turn off right now. It's actually quite hard. Goodness me. It's very hard. There it is. Look, look, look. There you go. Look. Made a very satisfying pop, I must say. Right, well, after that scene of devastation, I have arrived here at the very edge of the pier. I've sneaked up this little lane, see what's up here. All these little houses and everything, look, excellent. That's as far as it goes. Oh, there's another bee closely up here, look. Where did this go? My goodness. <laughs> as I said, everybody must have been really small in those days. Found here we have some lovely white wall painted houses, a spa a shop, Driftwood Cottage. Wow, so many nooks and crannies. Oh, bin recess, we'll turn around. I saw one up here. Right, let's have a stroll up this little wind here, see where this takes us. Oh, wow. Huh. Above all the gardens we go. The st strange name of a place, Pleric. What do that mean? Pleric. Hmm. We have a Masonic symbol up there, 1348. Hmm. We're going to get into the modern part now, I think. It's a warning for us all. 
don't feed the gulls. Gulls cause many problems. Fouling, aggressive behavior, noise, damage to property. Ooh, okay. Well, much excitement, folks. I just walked past the spa shop and I saw a sign for keys to the windmill. So, I've got the keys to the windmill. Only thing was, she wanted the deposit of five pounds. Now, what did I say earlier on? All I had was four pounds fifty, so she just took that. <laughs> Very nice of her. So, we're going to go and look at the windmill. Excellent. This one might be part three or part two C or two C one or whatever. Here we go then. The windmill we go. Right, so it's a bit of a a ramble up there to the windmill. There it is, away in the distance. Right, off we go. Very precarious here, folks. Goodness me, it's a strange rock formation. It's very flat and sloppy. Goodness. No. Oh, man. Man, I'm like a mountain goat. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. One foot forward, Jag. Just keep going, just keep going. Just, oh, my goodness me, help. Oh, no, no, no. Right. Honestly, Jack, look, you've got all that to... Oh, man. Oh, goodness me, I'm... Oh, I think I've made it though. Oh, look at that. Oh, yuck. This pool is no longer maintained by the district council. Bathers use it at their own risk. Well, it's like an old pool or something. Look at that. Wow. Excellent. Oh, strange bumpy things here. Look at this. Wow. Excellent. I think it's some salt flats or something. I seem to remember. Salt pans. There we go. Look. This is what it used to be like. That's what it is now, but that's where I'm going. There we go. Honestly, somebody's speaking very loud on the mobile phone. That's a thing that annoys me as well. Here we go, though. Let's go. Wow. I'm in. I'm in the uh, the life the life boat. No, I'm not somewhere. In. I'm in a windmill. Here we go. Look at this. Excellent. Let's leave my spice card here. All right, we're going up the stairs then. Here we go. Right, there's some blurb about it. It's all about these salt pans. Have a little read of this. Yeah, similarly, there were these salt pans all along the coast here. Um, big pits. Here we go, look, it tells you. Huge iron pans, some six by three meters, and dark, burning waters, and oh, steam. Must have been horrible. Oh dear. Thank you. Keep on going. Oh, Jacques Rive. The top. But you know what? There's actually not a lot to see. Apart from some sort of caravans. Right, here we go. That's what you can see. We've got the salt pans down there. Disappointing, really, to tell you the truth. There's ruins over there. And then just there's a field behind me, so I'm not going to show you that. But, hmm. Okay. Ooh, all the way down. Well, I was a bit disappointed then. I spent about five minutes having the cat. There's not really much to see, but um, it's interesting being inside it, I suppose. Um, see all the brickwork and uh, stuff. I thought there'd be like um, the big cogwheels and the machinery that makes the windmill go around. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed that wasn't actually there. I think I thought to see some cogwheels. Oh, well, disappointment of the day. Never mind. Right, oh, I've got to take the keys all the way back now. Oh Lord, right, let's uh, leave some spiz stuff here. Well, here I am live. I'm going to leave a comment and a mark on the spizometer here. Um, I don't know. Right, there we go. I've given a 2 out of 10 on the spizometer because there wasn't actually much to see when I was in here. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, it's great, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I was here, I had to go and get keys, and it's all very sort of touristy, but you know. At least I've been here. So yes, I think a 2 out of 10 is about right. So these are the uh, salt pans around about the 16th century. Although I think maybe some of them might be from around about the 12th, 12th, 13th century as well because there's a lot of history about the salt pans here. So these would have been uh, fuming black pits with like uh, really boiling hot seawater burning the salt and the room smoke and oh, it would have been horrific man. So I'm sure that's why all the rocks down here are all just black and horrible, yeah. 
funny because along that way, the little harbour bit, that was beautiful, that was really nice along at the old uh, Kirk, but this half isn't quite so nice. So it's like a, a village of two halves. Yes, indeed. Right, we've got some ruin up here to look at. Let's see what this is all about. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's not that interesting, is it? And that's it. Right. Oh well. Yeah, so really a bit of a disappointment coming along here, to tell you the truth, folks. Um, yeah, oh well, never mind. At least I've been here now and done it, thank you, yes. Back to the car, I've got to take the keys back to the shop now, oh god. Well, this is actually a little bit more interesting than the windmill. It's like an old pool, yeah. Well, do you think I should walk along the wall? What do you think? Um, we're going to have a look. We shall go and see if it's in a, a walkable, safe condition. Well, a lovely natural feet well, Yeah, I suppose it's natural, yeah. Right, so let's see what it's all about then. Oh, so Daisy had a wee trip or went another wee stumble, two stumbles. Not looking good. I'm getting tired now, you see. It's been a, a long trek today. Right, let's see what this wall's like then. Right, here we go. What do you think, folks? Oh, it looks a bit seaweedy, I think. Ah, right, we'll go for it. Right, here we go. We're off. deep the pool but it would have been a nice little paddling kind of place as opposed to the locals back in the days. Right there's lots of iron things sticking out so I'm going to be really careful here. Right goodness me. Right I'll uh, I'll see you the other side. If I don't if there's no video you know I've fallen in and drowned. Oh goodness me there we go. Right I bought a couple of rolls from the shop just getting some custom so well, a lovely place St Monin's is, man. Was it a spiz? I don't really know if it was a spiz or not, because it was just really a stroll again. But on the, the strollometer, this is going to get a six and a half out of ten, because it was a lovely uh, that way. Not so lovely that way. So as I said, a village of two halves. I think I well deserve six and a half. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Lovely, friendly place. Very quiet. I think a lot of these places are just used as like... Um, holiday cottages or something because it wasn't much life at all so there we go folks that was some moments thank you very much for joining me hope you enjoyed the video subscribe and like and do everything else that you have to do do appreciate it thanks very much and we'll see you again soon thank you